we doing? My name is Sean Tracy. Welcome to a new episode of Bad Becoming a Director, a show about getting good. If you don't already know, I'm 18 uh, and I'm lucky enough to say that I still live with my parents. I plan on still living with my parents for quite, quite a number of years, especially with the housing situation in Ireland right now. And so at this house, ever since I was like a baby, that little small building right there has existed. But until like a few months ago, there wasn't even a door on that building. That building was like a, a small shed, if you will. Uh, and then eventually it kind of turned into a boiler house when we had a boiler in there. And then my dad never ever used the boiler. So he kind of recently decided to sell it and to convert the room into something else. Now it's important to mention what I was doing at this time. I started a full-time job in September and we were making this decision in like late November, early December. Essentially, I was working in my bedroom all day, every day, literally two feet away from my desk, from my bed, sorry. I was waking up, walking two feet to my desk, working all day, walking two feet to my bed, going to sleep. And it was kind of a rinse and repeat situation. It wasn't good, it was not healthy. And so. Naturally, I took the opportunity and I raised up the idea of potentially that place becoming an office slash studio for myself. And that's how that space came about. Uh, we started working on it. Well, really, he started working on it in November. I can't take any credit for how well he converted that space into what it is now. Literally in there just used to be brick walls, tile floors and nothing else. Uh, and now in, what you're about to see in there, it's very, very different to what that was. And there's only one thing left to say before we actually kick on with this studio tour. I'm completely aware of how lucky I am to have a full room personally decorated um, in my parents' home where I can work and, 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 and do what I want with my work. Like that is a, a major fortune. Um, I don't take this room for granted, I think is really what I want to say before we begin. But with that being said, you know, let's, let me stop blabbering on. Let me actually take you in here, okay? Here we go. Anyways, that's enough of the background of this room. Let's get on to the actual tour. So here's the entrance. Not much to go through here. It is just a door. Few hooks, bag, keys, uh, Stranger Things calendar poster on the front of it. I'm actually not an obsessive Stranger Things fan, which you would think I am when you walk into this room. Anyways, moving on from the entrance, here we have the Fresh Film Festival posters. Now, an important thing for me about this room is the references that go up on the wall, etc. they're not personal. So they're not rugby or they're not memories. You know, those are the two things I'd be printing a lot of on my walls. Um, they stay in my bedroom. I want everything on the walls in here to be film related, to, to kind of keep me inspired in that sort of world and remind me of where I started in filmmaking as well. Uh, and so, yeah, that's why these went up. The Fresh Film Festival would be like the film festival where I started. It's where I finally got a platform to really start taking filmmaking seriously back when I was 12. And so, you know, from the first film festival back in 2017 with Blood, Sweat and Tears, when I won the Ireland Filmmaker of the Year in the junior competition, onto Brother, onto Rue, onto Broken Reflection, Horizons. And then that actually nicely brings us on a good transition over to here, where I have the least I can do references up on the wall, which was the last, my last year in the film festival, which was last year. So this equipment shelf is really just for any like small bits and pieces. You've got everything from little microphones, cables everywhere, batteries, lenses, sticky tape, uh, hard drives, microphone, uh, tripods, little clapperboard, then a few other bits and pieces at the bottom, a gimbal, uh, sandbags, loads of stuff, loads and loads and loads of stuff. Very handy to finally have a shelf to use for this and this shelf also didn't cost me anything, which is great. So the shelf actually came from my dad's old study, which he doesn't use anymore. This is my camera charging station. Probably need to sort out something better for this because it is a little bit messy, but it does the job. It's got plugs, USBs, a little basket where I put my stuff in. Very handy to have that space for charging stuff. It's very, very, very good. Um, I wanna make sure this is still recording and it is. So then moving on from the charging station over here, we have what has to be one of my favorite parts of the room. This is like, the, the sitting desk. So this is the desk which I sit at. I come in here early in the morning, not all the time, but I managed to do it this week at least. Usually we'll write at this desk. That's the main thing that I do, but I also, if I have a lot of emails to do at the end of the day, I will also do them at this desk. Um, got a typewriter for some um, 
typewriting for some stories, uh, which is really, really sweet. And then also I've got some like, you know, vintage pieces as well. So this is a kind of vintage film camera that my dad got for me for, for, for one of the Christmases. The Super 8, which actually is used in my short film Spark, and we're gonna get onto these film posters soon, but that, that is the same camera, the Super 8 and that one there, which is really nice. So that's what this desk is, is all about. Um, it's just a calm place for me to write and I love it. Maybe I love it so much because in comparison to standing at my standing desk, it's really relaxing to be sitting at a desk, but it's just a place of calm focus for me and I really, really love that. So that is that desk. Now, of course, with that, we better uh, reference the film posters. So if you know my films really much at all, you'll be able to see that these are my film posters, of course. They go in chronological order. Blood, Sweat and Tears was my first official short film. Brother, Rue, Spark, Broken Reflection, Horizons, The Least I Can Do, and Waking the Muse. They're, I mean, they're posters I printed and I had around my room and I obviously just wanted to make a solid use of them for this room. So I suppose it just made sense to put them up. But there is a kind of nice meaning behind it that like, you know, if I'm using this room in 10 years time, if I'm still living at home, this will be reminding me where I came from. And looking at either side of that is, is a testament to that kind of idea as well, because you have Doctor Who posters. Um, Doctor Who is the entire reason why I make films. Uh, this Doctor Who poster was got for me this last Christmas by my sister, thank you Roaching. This um, Doctor Who poster was got from my dad, I believe, and it's probably my favorite part, my favorite poster in the room. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore Doctor Who. It is literally the reason why I make films, and so it only makes sense that it's in this room. It only makes sense. Uh, and on that note, it's about time I also mention, you know, these little acoustic foam pads that you see around the place. They're kind of in the name, they're for the acoustics of this room. Yeah, so I put them on the ceiling as well, which was, not gonna lie, was not the easiest job in the world. So the reason those are up there is literally just for the acoustics of this room. Now the acoustics still aren't perfect, there's still a little bit of an echo in here, but like prior to putting those up and those in the wall, it was horrendous. Like, you know, filming there, I really only could use lavalier mics like this. I couldn't actually use, you know, my boom mics or the mics on the top of my camera here, because. It was just terrible, it sounded so bad, uh, unfortunately. So those have really done a great job of helping uh, the acoustics in this room. They're not just for look, but they also, I'm not gonna lie, I do love how they look as well. And now we're moving on to the final part of the room, which um, is, first of all, I suppose, just these prints. Um, so any prints that I get, you know, be it this print from the least I can do for a nomination I got, this for my, my, my vlog that I entered into the Fresh Film Festival, Lapland is amazing, back in 2017. These Stranger Things posters that my sister got me. And then up here we have a little roll system, which is so cool. I love it so much. That didn't sound very good. So then if we actually move around to this part, so if you want to stand in there, we're moving on to what is probably another highlight of the room, and it's probably maybe egotistical part of the room, I'm not sure. I mean, this, this big old Aperture 300D is uh, usually not here. Um, it, it, this is just here for the purposes of this video. Um, take this away and you have just a nice corner lamp, but here you have kind of a weird assortment of things on the shelves. Uh, my dad set up these shelves, full credit to him. We have this old lens that I used to use, the 24 to 5 I used it until very, very recently. I can't believe how cheap it's going for now. It's actually heartbreaking, but I love this lens. While I don't use it anymore because I am trying to go for the current lenses I'm using from Sigma to get sharper output, this holds a special place in my heart because I shot everything I used to do on this lens. This is a little plaque I got from my school for um, my, my film production work, which is really, really sweet. It was also for my academic work. I was a bit of a swat, um, so that's really, really nice. And then these little three prizes here are the same. These are actually prizes I got from my school for like Ireland's Own Filmmaker of the Year from the Fresh Film Festival, which is really, really nice again. Wonderful to be supported by my school in that regard. This is not real, well it is real obviously, but like this isn't something I won anywhere. This is uh, just from my friend Roy. He made this for me one year, which is a bit astonishing. Like, I don't want to know what this thing costs. Uh, never mind the work involved in putting it together, but he basically just wrote Stellar Best Director Award, Ireland's number one, Sean Tracy. And then up here we have just some pretty nice prizes. Director Under 18 for Horizons back uh, in 2021, I think it was, at the Utah Film Festival. Indie Spirit Film Festival 2021 for Broken Reflection. And Broken Reflection is a film that I look back on and kind of just regret some of my, some of my acting in it. Um, and some of my, it just wasn't, like, I just think I could have written a few things better. I could have been much bolder in my directing. So it's really nice that 
it's still got a level of validation. Do you know what I mean? Like that is really, really sweet. And then we're moving on to the final element of this shelf, which is definitely the most, not the most special, but in, in terms of like the biggest prize in the film industry I've received so far, it's the Tindy that I won in October at the All-American High School Film Festival for Best Director. Very, very special award. Um, beautiful, of course, but lovely story behind this as well. Just uh, kind of given the trip myself and my parents made out of it in New York. Uh, we went to New York basically for a weekend just for this film festival and for the award ceremony. You know, towards the very end of the award ceremony, I was starting to go, eh, this is this is a bummer because we've been nominated for a lot of prizes, but we hadn't picked anything up. And I was like, damn it, you know, have I dragged my parents all this way for nothing? And then Best Director came, uh, which is obviously such a wonderful prize to be winning, given that's what I want to be when I'm older. A director um, meant the world. Meant the, just, if I really sit with this, a really, really special prize. Now we're moving on to the final part of the room. This is not usually a part of it. This is just the audio recorder that I'm doing, that I'm using to, to, to record my lavalier mic here. Um, this is my editing setup with a tube light in the background to give some, some give us some cool lighting for my face. So yeah, this is where I spend most of my time in the room. It's, it's looking at these two screens. I got a dual monitor for, I could do a dual monitor setup for this room. I previously was only working off the one. I used to just work off my laptop. Um, and then I made the investment to get a second monitor, which has made a big difference. It's much, much, much easier to be editing on this screen and then have my references on this screen and stuff like that, which is something I do think most editors would need. And yeah, this is just lovely place to be editing because it's, I'm standing, obviously. Um, I actually do have a stool in here that goes from sitting to standing, but I left it on set somewhere, so I will be getting that back shortly, hopefully. But I would seldom use it at this table because I just do like the energy it kind of gives me of standing. Um, and, and yeah, like having the window then behind it as well, it really allows me to uh, feel open-minded when I'm when I'm working and that's it that is this room that's where I work under the desk now I will mention quickly you know I've got my big tripod bag my tube lights my slider and I've got the same behind that table then there it's just where I store the really heavy stuff like my c stands go in a corner but like that light my tubes everything they go onto the tables because otherwise it's just they take up too much space in this room uh but anyways yeah that is the studio tour i am delighted to uh have ran you through it i hope you found this video relatively interesting and um it is very 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 special to have this space to work in um it has made a massive difference to my enjoyment of my work uh i like i mean that entirely uh now that's not to say you, you obviously you need a whole room like this outside of your bedroom to work but it does make a big difference. And I'm so flipping grateful um, for my dad's work that he put into this room. You know, for him, first of all, committing to making it a studio, you know, he could have used this spare room that we have for anything. And he decided to use it for a studio for me, which is so lovely of him. But then for him to go the extra mile and put in the work to making this room what it is today means the world. So dad, thank you. Anyways, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay stellar.